today we're going to be working on lead code question number 327 uh, count of range sum given an integer array nums and two integers lower and upper I return the number of range sums that lie in lower upper inclusive range a range sum s of ij is defined as the sum of the elements in nums between indices i and j inclusive where i is less than or equal to j so in this example nums is equal to minus 2 5 and minus 1 and the lower limit is minus 3 upper limit is 5 and so basically it needs to be our all the ranges which we select in the nums so possible ranges are going to be 0 to 0, 0 to 1, 0 to 2, then uh, 1 to 2, and then 1 to 1, 1 to 2, then 2 to 2. So basically what he is saying is like some of them are not going to be in the solution because let's say 0 to 1 uh, adds up to 3 which is not going to be within this lower and upper limit and similarly 1 and 1 is not going to be in the range because 5 is not in this lower and upper limit so we're going to end up having only these three limits 0 to 0, 2 to 2 and 0 to 2 whose sum uh, is basically going to be minus 2, minus 1 and 2 the algorithm we're going to be using is the merge sort in order to come to this uh, solution we're going to be recursively calling the uh, we're going to be changing the limits and then we're going to be calling um, uh, like the, the recursive function um, basically merging it and counting them at the same time uh, in order to get to the solution so that being said let's say that the n is equal to the nums dot length uh, our the thing where we're gonna be putting our uh, actually we're gonna be returning an int but like we still need an array where we are gonna be uh, using like we're gonna be basically uh, putting the like the, the solution uh, basically when we're gonna be counting, uh, we're gonna be doing the counts for a particular range. Uh, so we're gonna be keeping the result in that. So let's just call it an array uh, of long, uh, and we're gonna call it sums. And the length of that is gonna be equal to n plus one. Okay, now iteratively we're gonna go through all the uh, nums and like basically we are filling filling up like the and the sums so i is gonna be equal to i is equal to zero i is less than n i plus plus so sum is basically equal to the next one is equal to sum of i plus one is equal to sum of i the previous one plus uh, the current uh, nums of i so basically what we are doing is like we, we, we are recursively, not recursively, we are uh, we, we are adding up the sum. So it's going to be minus 2 and then minus 2 plus 5 and then minus 2, 5, uh, minus 1. This is the sum of all, all three in the, at the last index. Okay, once we have the sums, we're going to be calling a helper function. Uh, we're going to call it count while merge sort. So we are counting it uh, while we are merge sorting uh, at the same time. So we're going to send our sums, um, then the, the starting position of that, the ending position of that. Uh, actually, ending is going to be n plus 1 and then the lower limit and the upper limit and this function is gonna be returning an end that's what we're gonna be return so let's just call it private and uh, count while merge sort it takes a, 
uh, long array of an array of long uh, called sums we're gonna have a starting index and an ending index and an uh, like a lower limit and an upper limit so as the movie sort works we're gonna be looking for uh, the midpoint but be even before that there's gonna be a base condition here if the end like the end minus star uh, right uh, if the end minus star is less than uh, equal to 1 we're just gonna be returning 0 because it doesn't make sense that the end is like almost less than equal to uh, that means we, we, we are done with the calculation we're gonna be returning 0 okay now we're gonna be uh, looking for mid which is the start plus and divided by 2 okay uh, again we're gonna recursively call this function by changing basically the the limits like not the limits the uh, indices so let's just call it that the count while merge uh, once you do it with the sums start is gonna stay the same but the end is gonna become mid and the lower and upper is staying the same plus uh, same thing but this time my sorry okay but this time sums uh, the start is gonna be basically mid and then the end and lower and upper is gonna stay the lower upper so we're gonna add them together and we're gonna say that this is equal to the count okay once we have the count uh, what we're gonna be doing is like uh, we are going to have like we, we want to uh, basically check the so first of all let's just have a few variables which are gonna say that the j so few variables to basically uh, keep the record of like we're gonna start from the mid all of them are assigned to mid j is equal to mid k is equal to mid and then t is equal to mid okay then we're gonna call we're gonna increment the like these variables and let's just iterate for int i which is gonna start with the start also uh, the r is gonna we're gonna have an i and an r which is also gonna be equal to the which is gonna r is gonna be zero and i is gonna equal be equal to start the next thing is we're gonna stop when the i is less than as long as the i is less than mid we're gonna keep continue that and the last thing is that uh, we want to increment again i and increment r okay so one thing is that the way we're going to be incrementing our pointers is while first of all keep an eye on that the k is less than the n and the sum uh, of k minus sum of i is stays low uh, is less than the lower while that is true we are not interested in that so we're gonna increment our k now the second thing is just like that the j uh, which is kind of keeping track of the upper limit or the related the stuff related to the uh, to the end is that when as long as the j is less than n and again just like the previous one the sum of j minus sum of i is basically lower than equal to upper right and like uh, we, we we are not gonna be interested so we basically we're gonna be keeping we, we will be interested in that but we're gonna still keep, keep it increment we're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna 
increment keep incrementing the the j and the last thing is while uh, our t is less than n and the sum of t is less than the sum of i all right just that one what we're gonna say is uh, we we want to keep record of that so one thing is that we also wanna have another way like um like uh we, we're gonna be storing those values so for that we're gonna need another array long cache which is equal to new long and the size of that is gonna be equal to n minus turn so now we can actually make keep the record of that by saying that the cache of r plus plus is equal to sum of t plus plus so once we are done with these while loops what we can do here is every single time we're gonna say that uh, our cache of that r is basically equal to sums of of i and also we're gonna be incrementing the count plus equal to j minus k so once we are done with this for loop all we have to do is to copy the array copy we are basically copying the array uh, like uh, this source array is gonna we're gonna start from zeroth index and we're gonna copy it to the sums uh, and start like and the index over there is gonna be star and the total length is gonna be equal to t minus star and I think it's called system dot array copy and in the end we're gonna be returning uh, the count Uh, didn't like some should be sums again we have another one over here sums just like that we're gonna have some sums 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 looking good and it works <laughs>